this is Melissa at Buckeye Girls Lifestyle. This is the homemaking collab. Please check out Sunny in the Suburbs and the wonderful playlist of amazing creators in the description box. For more homemaking videos, we're going to start out with a pack of turkey meat. One cup of Italian breadcrumbs. One container of Parmesan cheese. You're thinking, oh, that's going to be dry. No, it won't. You just wait. I, I haven't got the wet, wet stuff in there yet. And I haven't got the seasoning in there. With tur using turkey meat, you definitely need seasoning. Okay, we're going to add one egg. going to get a half a cup of water. And then we're going to get a scoop of this um, better than bouillon. We're going to just mix this up. Oop, and don't don't spill it like I just did. What all we're doing is making a little bouillon. If you have a, if you have about a half a cup of beef broth, you don't have to do this. But I didn't have that, and I'm not opening a big container for a half a cup, so that's why I have the better than bouillon hanging around my refrigerator. Because there's some recipes that just calls for a little bit. And we're going to add that into our meatballs. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic and herb, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a roasted garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. Now we're going to mix it up. Now we'll just scoop these out and make our meat bottles. Oven heat, preheating at 350. So now we're going to just scoop and roll our meatballs. My husband likes these in spaghetti and meatballs. He loves them on, he loves to make meatball subs. So this is actually this is one of his favorite dishes and I I don't I don't make it very often I don't know why the first Christmas I was with his family it was like a potluck they they always did where everybody brought something one thing he asked me to make is these meatballs. I took, I think, these meatballs and a platter of cookies.
Okay, we will bake these for 15 to 20 minutes. I preheated my oven at 350. And it looks like we're gonna have two pans. Yay, he's gonna be happy. Balls, I kind of like to bake mine till they, they're kind of a little crispy. And uh, I'm gonna package these and put these in the freezer for when we do spaghetti and meatballs or if my husband wants a meatball sub. Okay, we're gonna spray our baking dish with our baking spray. We are going to add in two cans of pie filling. And just spread this out along the bottom of our pan and even it out because we don't want that saying yeah you got all the ones with the apples and I didn't get any you know there's that Now we're going to take a little cinnamon and we're going to sprinkle that on top of our apples. Just do a little sprinkle. Now we're going to set this and add one spice cake recipe. Mine just has happens to be cinnamon toast crunch spice cake. But any kind of spice cake. I add that into our mixing bowl. this one before but it's got little cinnamon pieces in it so that might be really good add one stick of butter and we're gonna just stir that up Then we're going to bring in our apples and we're going to pour this on top of our apples for a crumb topping. We're going to bake this at 350 or let me see. for 28 minutes. We're going to smooth this out across the top because we know we don't want that saying you got all the good stuff on your side not on mine. I know I did a day in the life yesterday. I started to do a day in the life on Friday of when Thad comes home. So I made meatballs and I made 
an apple dump cake. Then I got that call that ever trucker's wife hates. Honey, I'm not gonna be home today. I'll be home tomorrow morning. So I cut my day in the life off and I started, I'm gonna start again today. This is a typical truck trucker's wife scenario. So I put the meatballs in the refrigerator and the cake and we're gonna have that for supper. And I just made him a breakfast for when he gets home this morning. And the one thing I always do before he gets home is make sure the dishes is cleaned up and the kitchen is wiped down. So it looks like uh, somebody might live here. So we're going to work on the dishes. And that's also why I changed my dress because I know somebody else would say in the comments. Why did you change your dress in a day of the day in the life video? Okay, we have all these dishes. We got a mountain of dishes because I made I made like I said I made breakfast. I made a breakfast pizza. It's actually going to be uh, I did it. I filmed it for a Christmas morning breakfast video. I don't know when exactly that'll come out, but I have, I'm have, I'll have that one stored. That one will be stored for later. This thing came off my faucet. We're gonna just put some of these in the dishwasher. And I am gonna do some by hand. ton of dishes. I don't know what that thing is, but One direction it won't let me put my faucet back. I'm gonna just lug that to the side. If you hadn't noticed, our faucet is a touchless because with this sink, I get water everywhere. Well, that's not going to fit, so I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to get as many of these that can go in the dishwasher in the dishwasher. And then I'll wash by hand the rest. show you how I how I clean I'll show you how I clean stainless steel. 